Okay, welcome back to part three of how to convert a uh, Mustang harness to a standalone uh, harness for your Ford vehicle. This is a uh, third part in a multiple installment video series that I'm putting together. Uh, I had the first two videos uh, covered what we're doing and what we're doing it with. And come back if you saw my other videos, it should look familiar. It's just a, I basically just have a board on a couple of horses. I don't have a real sophisticated workspace. Uh, I wish I had better, but it's going to do for now, so I'm not really complaining. Um, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I've done so far. I've started to take apart, uh, or just basically cut all this sheathing off with the razor to get at the wire. So I cut it all down. I did um, soak this uh, harness in water uh, for a little while last night to kind of get some of the dirt off. It was very dirty. Um, it is a very solid harness. There's your salt and pepper shaker connectors. I'll be removing them. Um, I do not have the O2 section of the harness. I can, you, there's pigtails you can get on eBay uh, that will, um, for like $9 each, that you can just kind of build your own O2 sensor harness. Um, some stuff down here. This is down at the front end. There's the coil connection right there. Um, here's the test plug right here. That's the test box. Um, these connectors, I'll be removing them. I will be eliminating a lot. Here's the barometric pressure. Or the um, That's the plug for the, the barometric pressure sensor. Um, this one here is the TFI coil, or T, excuse me, the TFI distributor. Um, there's the spout connector right there. That's for timing. Okay, this all stays. I just clean it up and test all the wires. Um, it's all the salt and pepper shakers. This is a uh, canister or something that's going to get removed. Uh, this is some more air conditioning or whatever else. Um, I have these written down what these are, but these all come out too. Um, and these wires, I actually removed the wires from the connector. As you can see, I have a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them from the last, uh, the last um, conversion that I did. And then back here, this, this section, um, there's one piece in here. You have all these. These come out too. Um, this one, this stays. This is the mass air. This goes right on the, um, the mass air sensor. And then this one is your fuel pump relay. I'm going to clean that up, check that out. Uh, like I said in the previous video, I'm going to leave this one intact. Uh, I do, I'm going to rewire the power to it, but I'm going to leave this relay circuit intact. Um, also, if you may have noticed the inertia switch, this is a switch that uh, Ford put into the vehicles uh, to kick off the fuel pump, shut it off if you have an accident. So. If you do a recovery from a vehicle, locate this. It's typically in the back of the vehicle, if I'm not mistaken, near the fuel pump. There's a little button you push to reset it if you're in a fender bender or whatever. So I did recover that. I have it. I have it in my other vehicle. Um, but if you're going to do a conversion, make sure you get that. And it's nothing to wire in. Um, but it does make your vehicle that much safer if you have an accident. You're not pumping fuel all over the road. Okay, so the next step we're going to do is I'm going to continue cutting all this off. All right, all this... Here, I'm going to cut this down, cut this sheathing off, remove it, throw it away. I don't need it. It's kind of brittle anyway. I'm going to continue on down here. I'll get this stuff off. And I'll get the harness all stripped out. And remember to always keep on hand some extra wire ties. Because you want to keep the shape of the harness. Don't tighten them. Just, you, know, you just want to put them on a little bit. All right, I'm, you get the gist. So now I have a wire tie, just to keep the, the shape of the harness. All right, and then by doing it this way, you can always reconfigure the harness's shape uh, once you get in the vehicle. Now this one, I'm like I said in the other video, I'm gonna wire it in this box. So I'll start with that. I'll show you how I do that when I get there. But that's gonna greatly distort the shape of this uh, harness because I'll be pulling wires out and routing them through the box. And I'm gonna end up with another section over here that has a. Uh, a more wires that all kind of go down the front to the front of the vehicle towards the battery. All right, so that's this video. Um, the next video we're gonna we're gonna remove this, take this apart. All right, take wires out of it, and then we're gonna hook it up to my breakout box, and then we'll start checking wires. All right, so um, again, nothing super technical. Just give me an idea where we're going with this. I uh, hope you check back later. Okay, thanks.